Okay, so we're back today. I didn't think I was gonna be filming a video, but I brought my camera. I actually have a little convenient new setup, so we're gonna see how this works. Wireless microphone, so hopefully all the garbage noise that happens around here is gonna be at a minimum. I have this back window right here, and this is a Malibu that was sent in 2016, and unfortunately, ooh yeah. See you guys, you guys see that? Yeah, that doesn't look good. That's what we call adhesive failure. All I'm gonna be using today is actually a couple of simple things that anybody can use for relatively cheap, minus the steamer, I guess, a little bit. So this is a cloth steamer. I mean, you can find these for 50 bucks from Walmart. They do make cheaper ones. This will cost you a little bit, so if you're not gonna be removing a lot of film, this is gonna be a relatively big investment for you. But this is the go-to shit that you need to get right now. So as most of you know, I've been using ATR for years and years and years and years. It's a professional adhesive remover made for window film. Great stuff. It's always been my go-to, but this stuff is from the dollar store. It's called Awesome. Some students of mine actually told me about this initially. It took me a long time to get around to even trying it. So we're gonna be pulling the film and hopefully the steamer is gonna remove all the adhesive and the film, but I have a feeling it's gonna leave the adhesive behind. So that's what the Awesome is for. So. We're gonna go ahead and get right to that and see how this removes. That's the thing about window films. Even if you get promised a lifetime warranty with the lifetime guarantee by the manufacturer, you never know if this shit's gonna happen. So you wanna make sure that you have some type of warranty through the company to cover your own ass, or at least made enough from the job, put it away to cover, you know, whatever the cost of the job is. So we're gonna pop in here where the lighting is gonna suck. So these headrests right here, they're locked in. So that needs to be taken out first. You got a little pinhole on the side. So if you ever have a headrest that needs to be taken out, that's how you do it. So the annoying thing that you're gonna see about this whole shit, deck lid here has a third brake light. So there's gonna be adhesive that needs to be removed there, which is really why you need a good adhesive remover and also a scrub pad with probably a scrub paddle. And I'll show you guys those in a sec. This doesn't look so good. At least I got a nice white backdrop for it. Where'd I put my razor blade? Oh, I found my razor blade just, just as I opened a new one. Okay. So the idea of the steamer is pretty simple. You're really just using hot moisture steam to warm up the glass, the film, the glue, and the warmness basically helps it release from the glass. So just focus the steam on a particular spot and you have to be creative of how you get the film to start coming off the glass in the first place. Like I create a little bit of slice with a razor blade. Be careful around the defrosters, of course. Yep, film's coming off, which is good. The most important thing for film removal is actually just removing the film itself and not worrying so much about the adhesive because you always have an adhesive remover to fall back on. But it's, if you have a film that wants to start flaking apart, that's just, it's not a good sign and it's gonna take you way longer. So the, uh, the adhesive is being completely left behind on this one. It's just the type of film and adhesive that it is. But you still wanna steam it to ensure that the film's not gonna uh, tear or anything annoying like that. I cut the end off of my little shark steamer, so it gives this end point, like it's really flexible. So you can just shove it behind like third brake lights and like down here in lower sections and stuff like that. Those big metal ends on like the Jiffy steamers are really annoying. It's more about just getting the steam to a particular place to warm up the glass. Also, I, I would bag this and leave it outside if I didn't live in Michigan where it's, you know, hit or miss on cloudy days. Most of the year it's cold. This is a foolproof method for removing film if you're not in a warm climate. I really don't care. 
Okay, so I have the film off. I just got annoyed and pulled it on this side. And then over on the other side, I still have, like you can see just, it looks like the adhesive is off on this side. It's actually just completely on and then it's half steamed off of this side. I have this bottle of Awesome here and I also actually still have ATR, like a full bottle of it. So what I'm gonna do is spray this on the easier side of the adhesive and I'm gonna spray the Awesome on the more difficult side to give it some really, it's gonna be more difficult for it. So we're gonna see if both of them work basically the same because in my experience so far, this stuff has been great or awesome. Jesus, just saying it too much. So like I said, awesome is going on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and just spray that down. I'm not diluting it whatsoever. Just straight out of the bottle onto the glass. This stuff cost me a dollar. And then this ATR, I don't remember how much it costs exactly, but you can find it on tool sites. I was just really surprised when I saw how similar they worked and they also smell extremely similar. Now I'm not saying ATR rips it off out of the bottle because there's a different strength to both of those smells, but the way that both of them act, the smell is similar. So I, I'm guessing there's a very similar um, chemical list on both of them. So we're dividing it directly in half on this defroster line. We're just gonna let that sit for a minute. and. What's interesting too is actually, they both look different right now. So this is the ATR, and you can see it's actually really smooth and sheeting on the glue. And this, the Awesome, is just kind of sudsing up a little bit more. So we're gonna see what happens when we take a scrub pad. Now, I have two scrub pads, one for each one of the windows. And let's see how this goes. Let's just see the top half first because it's going to be the easiest to get to for an immediate comparison. And then let's go ahead and wipe this one. So I can tell you right now, they are definitely not the same thing. Um, just in the way that they look. I honestly, like I smelled them. I thought that they were uh, very similar chemical makeup, but they smell similar but you can see they look different. So there's some different chemicals or just more of one chemical and one than the other. So let's take a rag and see this stuff if it came off. And as far as I can tell, yeah, it's clean. That's awesome. No, it's not, it's uh, ATR on that side, sorry. <laughs> Um, and then we put awesome on the more difficult side and we're gonna see if this worked any differently. It, as far as I can tell, that's clean too. I got a little bit of adhesive so I probably just didn't scrub up there. Everywhere else that I've sprayed and scrubbed thoroughly has come off. So both of them have done a fantastic job. That's super awesome. That's actually happened to me before. I've run out of adhesive remover. Uh, you have to order it, it's not easily on hand. Um, I never minded the price because of the time that it saves you. It was super, super great to have, but this stuff, I, I need to do a little bit more thorough testing, but this is the fourth back window that I've removed with it, and it works awesome. So highly, highly recommend this shit. So we're gonna go ahead and scrub down the rest of it and retin it. I'm using the long scrub paddle with the with this white scrub pad. That makes life much, much easier. So it's all set. It looks all pretty now. So it'll be good for the next like three years, but um, since it's the same film, it possibly could happen again. I don't know. I hate when shit like that happens because it's a big like 
Hopefully they fixed the problem with the film, maybe it was a bad roll, I don't know. The rest of it looked good, the coloring in the film looked good, just an adhesive failure on the back window because that gets the most sun exposure, but being up here in Michigan, that's not exactly confidence inspiring. But anyways, that's how you deal with a back window, uh, lots of glue and shit like that, that's how you remove it. Um, retin it, uh, move on with your life. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked anything that you saw in this video, links will be in the video description, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.